most terrible. I love it. I'm doing the morning quickies on the 29th of April, 2021. Here. Then we'll pull through the deck. I'm ready to reshuffle. We'll start with Aquarius usual. I'm not feeling very good. I need to make it to the beach, but we'll try to do this up close and personal here. And uh, pull through the deck doing it. So put that there. And Aries, here we go, 29th. We're showing up with the Eight of Cups and the Six of Wands. So this is you in the realm of relationships, where you're feeling, uh, where your heart is at, where you're at. You're moving away from something here. A relationship, it's a relationship uh, reading now. But this is not actually leaving someone. It's like emotionally maybe you're starting to pull away. Um now, this is interesting because the Six of Wands, kind of where you're at now in your question, um, there may be a fire sign involved here that you're interested in. Um, and that's what's got you. They would have you very excited over this type of energy. And um, let's see here, Aries, what you're excited about. The Seven of Cups. No. Um, might be excited about a lot of things like you 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 moved away I mean energetically moving away and by moving away getting into a really good place kind of finding yourself getting really excited uh, having a good time uh, feeling more confident outgoing feeling stronger physically and everything uh, due to this moving away from whatever it was whether it's actually moving away from a person or uh moving away emotionally and just detaching some. Um, but I think what this says is now with the future, you're just uncertain. Um, this Seven of Cups a little rough. Uh, so it could be a little fear. It's like, uh, you know, when you first leave the cage for a minute, it's so amazing and you're running around and then you realize, you know, holy shit, now I, life is here and I got to make choices and there's so much to do, and you may have more than one offer on your plate because you're moving from cups to cups, and you the eight of cups to the seven of cups. Also, I just would advise, and this is a relationship reading, um, it, it kind of has a feeling of too fast here. This could even be like, go now you get confused and go back to this, and then it's not going to work. Um, and so probably you need a minute straight, yeah. You need a minute here um, to like solidify your singleness, your this energy of letting go. And I think with the Seven of Cups, is you're very quickly trying to go right back in emotionally, maybe in just another relationship. And um, this is kind of telling me like stand strong in yourself um, for a minute and give this time, give it some time. Um, maybe as much as seven months here, or eight months, um, for you to kind of get strong in yourself and before you go back in. Because I think like if you go back into a relationship now, it's just going to be sort of as if you're going back in. It may not seem like it at first. It'll be like, oh, my God, this person is so different. It's so amazing. But you're going to kind of end up in seven months instead of healing and being strong and ready. You're kind of back, back into the Eight of Cups energy. Guys, thank you, Aries. Appreciate it on the 29th. And uh, Taurus, thank you for joining us. Here we go. We'll pull it through the deck. Taurus, this is you, your energy, and the round relationships, the Nine of Wands. This is uh, you with your question where you're showing up. So, with the Nine of Wands uh, energy, um, it's a very determined Nine of Wands. You look at the horse, you look at that look on his face. Very interesting to then go to the hermit because the Nine of Wands is all actions here. In this position, you're in love relationships. Like, you're fired up. Uh, you want to go, go, go. I mean, whether it's on an individual person you want to ride toward or not. Uh, and this is not exactly an advice card. So, uh, but it, it feels like like maybe in spite of this, you're taking this time out or you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, 
but maybe the person you're dealing with here is giving you this energy that they're the hermit, uh, which can be someone saying to you, you know, you're all ready and to go, and they're saying to you, you know, I'm kind of not in a good place for relationship. I, I'm this, I'm that. I need to do this or that. <clears throat> they're in that hermit mode trying to do them. You know, and you want to do them too. <laughs> It's like there's a conflict. They want to do them, and you want to do them too, Taurus. Two of Swords. Yeah, that's a problem for you. I think uh, you really don't know what to do. You want to ride on and uh, have a victory, and they're sort of like telling you, like, yeah, I'm not really ready. And that just kind of leaves you not knowing what to do because I think you're focused on them. It's like you could just take this and say next and ride on and find the next one, but I don't think you want to do that. Five of Cups. Yeah. Well, this may be a relationship been going on a while. Maybe this is a dynamic tour that's been going on a while where you've been the one wanting to pour the energy in and they're like, you know, I got to do me. Um, and they're just sort of leaving you in a place where you don't know. Maybe they don't say like, I don't want a relationship. Maybe they're saying, God, I was there. Maybe they're saying, yeah, I want a relationship, but you know, I don't really want to get too emotionally involved, and I don't have a lot of time, and they're breadcrumbing you, and you're not liking it, because this is you, here, you know? And you got to walk away from this, Taurus. I don't know what to say on it yet, you know? And, and, and like a reader told years ago, said, you know, Third party is anything, right? It doesn't have to be another person. But when a relationship's right, spirit is there and, and wants the relationship to be, it, and it works. You know, there's no bullshitting around and problems and third parties involved. Thank you, guys. Uh, Jim and I, here we are with you. This is from the 29th of April. We're coming in as the Ace of Pentacles. Pulling through the deck here, Jim and I. Fantastic energy to come in with to a relationship. Uh, all in, it's very appropriate, it's a pinnacle, this looks like something new, uh, it's a fantastic way to start something, excuse my voice, why I'm here this morning, because I'm just like feeling real bad, and uh, so I could do to get to the table, but at least I think it's kind of intimate, wow, I love it, you know, um, let's see, very sincere too, and you're sincere about a marriage, I think, like you really... You, I was going to say with Ace of Pentacles, it's appropriate because it's not like going on the first date and saying, I love you. It's going on the first date and saying, wow, I feel like we had a really good time. What about you? Yeah, well, I, I really want to see you again. I think I'm really interested in you. I think you're a person. And, 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 uh, but no, it's just kind of like you're serious about this uh, person. You know, in a love reading, the hair fan is going to be a long-term committed relationship or or a marriage here. The only other way that could play, maybe there's a marriage standing in between you and your person here. The emperor. Ah, look at the similarity. Very heavy. <clears throat> so you might be dealing with an Aries. Maybe there is a, a marriage standing in between you guys. You know, the emperor goes really well with the ace of pentacles. Uh, you would have to approach uh, Emperor with at least the Ace of Pentacles uh, to get anywhere. You know, they're not going to want to see a, a Ace of um, Page of Pentacles energy. No. Um, let's see. Gemini. Um, you have to match the card. I'm clarifying, like, your person here. Why you have the hair fit here. It's like a question if you want to marry them. This is kind of implying maybe they're not ready. Maybe they're, if they're the emperor and the nine of cups, I mean, this is like a single emperor that doesn't want an empress. You know, he's like, you know what? I'm good now. I'm just going to be the emperor. And you see in this deck, the ethereal visions, you kind of stubborn looking nine of cups too. Yeah, this is you being very serious about someone, Jim and I. You really want a long-term committed relationship. And they're hanging back, you know, because I think they enjoy, like, their freedom. I mean, maybe you're older people. A lot of older men and women, they get 
set in their ways and they don't want to, because uh, the emperor can be fixed, you know, and stubborn, and, you know, definitely fixed. I mean, it's, uh, I think that's what's going on, Jim, and I don't want to go for that. I'll go back and look at your May reading and see if there's any advice in the heart spread. Your first reading I do, uh, the heart spread and the four pillars every day. I don't remember which day. I think it was last Wednesday. But you'll see it go up, please. Okay, we're looking at Cancers now. Temperance, Sag card. That's you, how you're feeling in around relationships right now. Where your mind is at, where your heart is at, guys. Uh, it's really good energy to come in with. Um, being tempered, being patient. And now you have the tower, so two major cards. Is why we were watching a tarot reading your tower. Something bad happened. Something fell through. Uh, I kind of get that you were waiting for something. And being very cool about it. Being very patient. Very mature. Wise. Loving. Emotionally stable. Uh, doing kind of all the right things. Cancer. Uh, but now you're finding maybe right now. Maybe this has already happened. Uh, something went wrong, didn't go your way. Uh, this could be if it's a relationship. It's just saying with the other uh, reading, uh, when it's right with a relationship, it comes together. There isn't all this nonsense and problems and third party this and that in the way. You know, it's like there's a, the way is clear for you guys. So let's see what we have for the outcome. The Ten of Cups. Holy moly. Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles. So there's a Virgo involved or an Earth signs who you've been waiting on. And I think like with the Tower here, with the Ten of Cups clarifying it, you know, the Tower is not always bad. I mean, it, it definitely is not always bad. It, it very well could knock something down that's in the way. There may have been something in between you and your person. Uh, this King of Pentacles here. Uh, but also, a king of pentacles is someone that's going to wait and be patient. You know, I think you guys were waiting, and then something, if it hasn't happened, it's going to happen like today or tomorrow. That's going to open up this ten of cups. Because look, you're in this temperance energy because you know this person is your ten of cups, this king. You know it. And you're willing to wait. And I think this tower is something that's, uh, that breaks in your favor. It breaks down something. Now, sometimes the way this works is like, you know, example, this person, you lose your job or they lose their job, and then you guys have to move in together, and, you know, that moves you in the direction you need to go. You know, that's like the universe stepping in. Like, the one or the other, you're, you're maybe you're waiting because you're kind of not quite ready, and uh, this throws you guys together, Cancer. This tower event. So let me know. I appreciate that, Cancers. And uh, thanks for joining me. Leo, now, the morning quickies here. We'll read through the deck. Uh, Leo, we're looking at you. What's your energy in the round relationship, the lovers? And how you're feeling right now in the round relationships? Fantastic. The beautiful card. Mind is on love. You might have a choice. Sometimes that choice. Eight of Pentacles, work card. Uh, sometimes that choice is uh, not between two people, but uh, should I love or should I not kind of choice. Like, should I give myself to this person or should I not? Like, well, if you look at this card, it's the Ethereal Visions deck. Um, excuse me, I got to move my nose. I feel terrible today. Leo's, um, they're very happy here. You know, I'm certainly emphasizing that part of the lovers here. And this is your energy, so I'm not going to read Gemini unless you have Gemini in your chart now, but you could have a Gemini moon or a rising. Uh, you might want to look at transits. You know, you got the North Node going through Gemini right now. It's causing quite profound. And wherever the North Node goes and the South Node opposes it, so it's Sagittarius, it, it, things happen your life in that house in that area of your life wherever that is uh if you were gemini rising it'd be happening in, in yourself so definitely be involved uh, 
change was happening in the world. But with the Eight of Pentacles, like you're putting work into this. Even watching this reading might, you could say, be some way of you, a bit of you putting work into this. We end up with the Three of Pentacles for you guys. The Ten of Wands. Look at this. There's a lot of work going on. God, is this a working relationship? You could be building a, a relationship together, and it's taking like a lot of energy with this clarification here of the Ten of Wands, putting a lot of energy. This to me is almost like you doing work on yourself and then now this is you guys working together because this card, this is the good work card. The good, these are both worker cards. These are the two big worker cards. And in, in other decks, and it's, this one emphasizes the collaborative aspect more than the work aspect. So I see you like collaborating in some way. Um, but with the Ten of Wands, I think the advice here is uh, maybe you guys are, you've done enough, you know, because uh, it's it's over. The next one would be the Ace of Wands. And I kind of get the feeling like what you guys need is the Ace of Wands. Maybe you've been working too much. You've been focusing too much on practical things in the relationship here, Leo. And you know, you're lovers. You've got this energy. Um, and so... Maybe you, maybe you kind of can say like, okay, we've done enough work. You, know, you need to just play. I mean, Leo, the fifth house, sun, that's what it's all about. And have some romance too here. Put some cups into this relationship. Um, look at the May reading, uh, Leo. I think uh, the heart spread for Leo might be helpful. Or even the singles, the four pillars could be helpful, guys. Thank you, Leo's. Virgos, thank you. We're pulling for the deck today on the 29th. This is you, how you're feeling in around relationships with the Ace of Swords. Um, this is strongly right now feel like you really have a question you want answered with the Ace of Swords. Or you need to say something that you really need to say, I feel like right now. And... King of Cups. This is the Jim Morrison King of Cups I love so much. Thank you for showing up, Jim. Um, they really go together. This could be who you're dealing with. A Cancer, Virgo, or a Water Sign. And it kind of implies, you know, this is a pretty laid back King of Cups here. And maybe... And also, I see this king, he's kind of holding back. His cup, it doesn't look like he has anything in it. He's got the fish. He's definitely like a hippie king, you know, and you're a Virgo. And it's like, I think you want to say to them, like, I want something more serious. You know, I know we're having a good time. Uh, I think your person's very attractive, too, physically. You have a woman. Um, and... You, you want something more serious. I mean, you're not saying this to them, but maybe you are. Let's see what the outcome says. Six of Swords. All right, guys. There's no other way to look at this, but, um, you know, maybe your person's kind of looking off, too. This king is a little bit distracted, so I don't think this person's for you. You know, your, your Ace of Swords turns into the Six of Swords. You're you say it, and they're like, yeah, I don't think they really respond. Uh, like you say, like, I really want to make this a serious relationship and exclusive. And they're like, you know, you're, I don't know, I thought we were having a pretty good time the way it is. And, you know, I really did a good thing, something like that. And you're like, no, you know, I'm uh, here to, you know, I'm not in college. I'm not here to do beer bongs all night and hang out. We want a relationship. I understand you, Virgo. Thank you, guys. Uh, Libras, this is uh, 29, the morning quickie. We're rolling through the deck here. This is you. In and around relationships with your seven of pentacles energy. Uh, so in relationships, you're uh, in the place where you're really thinking about reciprocity. Uh, you're thinking about uh, 
the work that it takes to be in a relationship. Uh, you might be mulling over in your head the old relationship and kind of how you did 90% and contend that they didn't meet your energy. And, you know, when you're in that, you typically worry, well, will this next one be the same? Will they meet my energy? You know, it's not a real good energy coming to a relationship with. You know, more like chip on your shoulder. And uh, Ten of Swords. Well, this is where you're at now. Uh, where you're feeling now. So, yeah, it, it ended badly. And now you're kind of, with the Ten of Swords, you're kind of wondering, you know, even this car, you kind of look like he's really wondering, you know, really looking at his crops <coughs> and wondering, you know, you know, all that work, months and months of getting up at dawn and working my ass off and going to bed at night and, and exhausted and tired and da 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 and it's like, look what I got out of it. I got stabbed in the back ten times. Um, so you're done, but I think you're still wondering what kind of what hit you. The nine of wands. <laughs> yeah. And for the future here, in advice, I got a feeling like you want to go back at this. That's why you're looking at it. You know, you're looking at things and trying to figure out. Also, this could be trying to figure out a way that it might work. Could you change something? Could you do something a little different? You know, uh, so the crops a little different. Use a different fertilizer. And make it work, even though you're in this energy of the Ten of Swords here, Libra. Um, and, you know, this person, they've been through a battle. This is you. And they're getting up, and they got, they got like, one punch left in them. And I don't think you want to throw this punch at that person here. I thought they left you in this energy, in the mood. But you're not seeing this. There's something you're not seeing. This is about something you don't see. And it may be something in yourself. But honestly, if you're in a Ten of Swords energy, and you're still thinking of going back for more, and you're wondering, I just get like probably they breadcrumbed you or something, and you're kind of like, they're going to come along and call you or something and say, hey, you know, I don't know, can we talk? And, you know, maybe you jump on it. And I think what's going to happen is you're just going to think you're going to have ten swords again. Maybe you have sex or you have a good run for a week or two or something like that. Uh, but I think right now you got to focus on what it is you're not seeing about this relationship. If that doesn't resonate, um, check the readings, Libra. You're already up for day if you look at our channel and see what's said for the heart spread here. I think primarily it's the one that's going to help you is for the one that's at least in a couple's reading, we have some one on the blind. Uh, thank you, Libras, and uh, we'll pull up to the next Scorpio. This is April 29th, 2021. You're coming in as a fool. My favorite card to come in with. Good job. Wide open, starting a new cycle, the fool's journey. Um, you're like, what can you show me? Like Bob Dylan, hang upside down inside, handcuffs, shake them off and shout, what else can you show me? You're ready. Let's see what, what you're ready for. Five of Swords. So, this is why you're watching tarot reading. Something, some kind of argument. It's like you may be good to go and then your person, you know, when you're in this full energy, Anything is possible. And, you know, it's all cyclical part of life. And, you know, you may be starting a new life. Like you had the world, you get the world and you level up and then you start a new cycle. And you're starting a new cycle here, Scorpio. And you're doing you, being you. A lot of times in your astrology, this could be around the Uranus transit. Uranus is 10 degrees Taurus right now. Wherever that is in the chart. Uh, might say something to this, um, especially when it crosses the ascendant or even squares it or opposes it. Um, oh, yeah, boy, when you're in the descendant, you're almost always going to change your relationship. So anybody says, you don't always get your artists on the ascendant. You can live your whole life and never have that. You're lucky if you don't. 
Um, but someone's not happy about it, like the new rule. You know, maybe they're kind of raining on your parade, being a bummer, like, you know, with practical things and arguments, like, you know, well, blah, 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 blah. What about this? What about that? You know, you just, you just let the fool go, man. <laughs> let the fool go. And, and when he lands, and the magician and the high priestess come in, and he starts his journey to figure out what's going on. So with the Two of Pentacles, I feel like there's a choice here, Scorpio. And I always see the Two of Pentacles as a choice. I see a lot of kind of balancing, trying to keep things going, you know. But kind of what it is here, I feel like your person wants to kind of keep things going the way they were. Like they want the old Scorpio. That's what this argument is about. Kind of, this is kind of like maintaining the status quo here. Page of Wands. You know, this Page of Wands is really looking off, wanting to take action. Very much goes with the fool. Okay, I'm going to tell you, like, go. Don't, whatever's going on, do not let them hold you back, Scorpios. Go for it. And it, it could be a little scary. You know, the Page is young, and the fool is the fool. The fool is nothing but young. Doesn't know fear. It's too young to know fear. Hasn't Fool hasn't known loss yet, you know, hasn't known pain yet um, in the page of ones, just barely, you know. But this is really saying go, go. Don't let this, whoever's trying to hold you back, don't let them hold you back, you know. You're going to be like, I'm 61 years old. Believe me, you don't want to be 60 years old, 70 years old, and looking back and thinking from wherever you're at, man, I, I should have went for it back when I was 30 and that I had that chance and, Go, go, do it. Leap, <laughs> Scorpio. Thank you, guys. All right, now we're reading for the deck here. Sagittarius, my brothers and sisters, what's up? Let's see where you're, how you're doing for the 29th, in terms of love and relationship, Page of Cups. Beautiful energy to come in with to uh, reading. Uh, in the round of relationships, where your mind is at, where your heart is at, you want to offer your cup of love. You know, either to someone or you're just ready for love. The Empress. Maybe you want to offer your cup of love to a Taurus. Um, but a page of cups approaching a Taurus is a little scary. An Empress, let's just say. I got to blow my nose. Excuse me. I'm miserable today. <laughs> I don't know whether it's COVID or uh, flu or allergies, honestly. But. Let's see what we get for advice and the outcome because uh, Page of Cups and the Empress, so it's got to be your person. You know, this would be someone you got them on a pedestal. They're looking really good. Uh, they're very uh, lush and uh, verdant and uh, attractive, sensual, grounded, uh, like a moth to a flame, you know. They were really attracted to it, the Six of Cups. So I think this is going to work um, because the outcome is the Six of Cups is really good energy of feeling uh, emotionally connected, emotionally whole, um, like you've known each other from a past life. Uh, I don't think this is someone from your past. I think this is someone like you would be looking at them Maybe you haven't offered your page of cups yet. The page of cups, let me explain. It's like, it, it could be I love you, uh, but it mostly could be just like, I really admire, I really love, like you, and I want to go out with you. It's kind of that kind of energy here. But this is like the empress, and you're kind of like thinking, whoa, I don't know. Male, female, doesn't matter. But you're just like, wow, uh, do you think I could really be with someone like that, little old me? It's like this amazing, and yes, but I think like the the person, I get the feeling like this person's gonna say to you, "Oh my God, you're so sweet." The pages are sincere, so when you approach this person, Sagittarius, what you have going for you is your Sagittarius, and you have your sincerity, and you're gonna sincerely say this to them, whether it's like, "I think you're amazing." And I really want to get to know you better, like to go out with you. 
or whether you say you've already been out and you're like, I'm really falling in love with you. I think they're going to say, oh, my God, I think you're so sweet, Sagittarius, something like that. You get a great feeling with other guys. Thank you, Saggies. Good. Now, Capricorn, your reading's out today. I already did the heart spread this morning. I put that up today. Good. That's for May. And we'll do the singles reading, too, the four pillars. Right now, Capricorn, this is you and your quickie in the round relationships where your mind is at, where your heart is at. Arguing, bickering. Could have had a fight with your lover this morning, last night, yesterday. In a love reading where this shows up here, it's kind of telling me that this arguing and bickering, there's something underneath of it that's or more involved in what it might entail, okay? It's not like serious fighting. It's just like, you know, you, know, you left the coffee or are you go, blah, you know, just kind of just kind of thing like that, you know. I don't know, you know. Turn the light off. You always leave the lights on. Yeah, but usually it's it's something else going on there. You know, right now with the Knight of Swords, like you want to take action. I got to think it's about these five of wands. Because I told you, like, these are guys just play fighting. They're like pages and stuff. But they're training to be knights. Uh, but to me, this is like, you want to, like, shut this down. You want to come in. Because the Knight of Swords and the Five of Swords is serious fighting, you know. Uh, this is kind of that bickering and blah, blah, blah. It just is uh, not fun. Uh, but I think this is you saying enough, like, you know, let's see where we go with this, five of wands, seven of wands, yeah, and setting boundaries, look, five of wands, seven of wands, you're saying enough, and you're setting boundaries, they're, they're, I, I hate to say this, it's kind of like a, I'm going to say Virgo, but <laughs> uh, nitpicking and stuff like that at you, you know, and like, details, and <clears throat> you're just like, enough, and there's boundaries involved here somehow. you got to establish boundaries with them, and there's no better way to do it than the Knight of Swords. <coughs> so the Knight of Swords is not going to mince work, not going to worry about that, do I hurt your feelings? And maybe that's what you've been doing. You know, I would. I mean, you know, you, you don't want to be an asshole or whatever, and you're trying to be cool. But it's getting on your nerves. You've had enough, and you're going to set these boundaries. You know, and it could be something kind of firm, even like an ultimatum. This is a daily reading, so it could just be you saying, I was like, look, uh, when I'm uh, working uh, on my laptop, you know, don't uh, tell me about there's not soap in the bathroom, okay? That kind of boundary, okay? Wait to tell me that till I'm done working, okay? Don't, you're interrupting me. Uh, or it could be something more profound, you know, you know, like, uh, I want my key back, and I want you to call when we come over to the house, you know, because, uh, something like that, Capricorn, thank you guys, good, moving on to Aquarius here, so the 29th of April, guys, your morning quickie, this is you, how you're feeling in around relationships, some kind of change going on in your life, good, this is, uh, your person here, most likely a king of swords. So, how you're feeling in the revelation of Scorpio. You could look at Scorpio in your chart, too, and kind of see what's going on there. Uh, we're getting a square from Uranus. Uh, that's the big thing right now, um, which is change. <laughs> Often going to bring change uh, to your love energy. You know, I don't like death there because it kind of depends. Like if you're already on, ongoing a transition and it's your transition, that's fine. But if you feel like you have to change yourself for this King of Swords, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Uh, somebody substantial, somebody uh, a parent, uh, you know, uh, has some money as well. Not not rich, but can take care of themselves. They're an adult, okay? And uh, let's see what's going. Get me some cups. Okay. 
Uh, this is good. Um, I'm not sure this is uh, good. Let's see, Aquarius. Uh, your reading will be tomorrow for May, and this would definitely be a heart spread because there's a relationship here. Um, but I don't, I don't know if this is both of you giving your uh, Ace of Cups or saying that there is an Ace of Cups or your person giving you the Ace of Cups. Um, but you change somehow. And it's appealing to this uh, sword here. And they're ready to give you a cup now. That's what that's like about the high priestess. Kind of clarifying the person here and where they're at, you know, with, for a king of swords. They probably have a feeling like uh, with the high priestess, a strong intuition that you're the one. Uh, because they're probably like a straightforward, straight shooter, uh, verbally uh, assertive person, substantial person. Uh, and uh, they're, they're taking some time. But right now, I think inside, they're starting to feel like that intuitive part of them is coming through, which may mean a lot to them, I get the feeling. And so they're 100% wanting to give you the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is an outcome. This is a love reading. Whatever you're thinking of, I mean, it's kind of a lock here. It's kind of a lock. So if there's any question as to whether they would, and I would say, too, what I get from this, too, is that this transformation's over. It's in the past position, too. This is a past, present, future is part of this quickie read, okay? So this past uh, transformation has leveled you up into this King of Swords energy, Aquarius, uh, which I think is uh, really good. And now for the 29th of April, uh, Pisces, last but never least, we're looking at you in your own relationships, coming in as the Queen of Swords, feeling uh, confident, uh, not uh, wanting to mince words, uh, and kind of outspoken. Um, queen of Swords in this position can carry a, not so much with the Queen as the King, but a little bit of an edge, like, uh, don't cross me, you know, like that, like, because of whatever happened in the past. But it can be good. It's like, don't cross me. I'm not here to play games. I'm not here to play the fool. I don't want to do it like a narcissist. Don't even try to gaslight me. I ain't going to play that. You know, we're, we're going to call it right out. And you're interested in a relationship, and definitely in a person. We're going to see a person here. So this is pretty good energy to come in with. And I think you're making like a, there's a solid offer like on the table. And you mean it. And the, the Queen of Swords does not mince word, does not lie, tells the truth, tells it like it is. And so if she's offering her cup, it's solid. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. In the sun. Boy, are they going to accept it. Could be a Leo you're dealing with here, guys. I always see the sun as a Leo card. Oh, they have a fifth house sun. Look at their chart. Um, but boy, are they uh, glad to take it. And I, I think there's an element in this too, Pisces, of like you kind of had to channel the stronger, more assertive side of yourself. Uh it sort of maybe be a little more that way than you maybe normally are because you were so attracted to this person. And they're totally responding. And also, they're probably just a physically beautiful person. Like, you were really attracted to them, you know. Um, and it's a great match. Great match. I love it. Thank you, Pisces. Give us a like. It's a good karma. It can help. And uh, next week, we'll do some kind of I'll do a giveaway whoever, whichever side likes the most, uh, comment, makes a comment or something. We'll start doing that every week. But thank you, guys. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for joining me. And Saturday, we'll have the May um, singles and couple spread for you. This will be your heart spread, your first of your couples.